Protesters are speaking out against the family separation policy this evening, even after the executive order signed by President Trump. They say that order doesn't go far enough. News for Utah's Sarah Martin joins us live from downtown Salt Lake City, where she spoke with the organizers of tonight's event. Sarah? Mormon Women for Ethical Government call themselves a nonpartisan policy group. They say the executive order signed by President Trump does nothing to reunite the 2,000 children already separated from their families at the border. I ask you to join the mothers at the border, the immigrant mothers who have lost their children. More than 100 people gathered and cheered as women stood and told their stories. My parents just didn't have the money to go through the whole process. It varies by circumstance, by country. You have to understand that no one puts their children in a boat unless the water is safer than the land. I'm grateful to share my story because I haven't been able to really talk about being undocumented. Like, you can get deported. So it's like a great opportunity that I finally get to do that. They explain the difficulty of current immigration policy. We not consider this executive order that supposedly ends family separation but leaves the, other, the 2,300 children and babies host, still hostages to the policies that we not consider where we are now as anywhere acceptable. Many Americans wish that undocumented immigrants would do it the right way. But I also learned that those Americans didn't know what the right way was. And MWA called on elected officials to keep looking for ways to make our immigration policy better. We also are promoting some policies that would help us to enforce our laws in humane, effective, and less expensive ways. And there's a variety of alternatives to detention that, that allow our laws to be enforced effectively. Undocumented immigrants, especially when they bring their families, they don't come here to meander. They don't come here to be lazy. They come here to, to unite with something that's great and add their own greatness to it. MWAC says they hope elected officials take note of vigils like this one and keep in mind that the public will not forget those children still in detention. Reporting live from South Salt Lake, I'm Sarah Martin, News for Utah.